guys and welcome to my channel. This is my first ever makeup tutorial. So if that's a little awkward, my bad. Um, but all I'm gonna be doing is showing you guys how I got this look, just a little simple green everyday um, eyeshadow look. Um, and so if you are interested in creating this, um, definitely keep on watching. Okay, so first I start off with moisturizing. I use CeraVe facial moisturizing lotion. Um, so yeah, let's get a moisturize. Okay, and next I do my eyebrows first and I shave off the tails of my brows to give me more leniency on where I can draw the tails of my brows. Um, Cause sometimes I want them to be flatter. Sometimes I want them to be um, more arched. Um, and sometimes I just end it where my brows are shaved. Um, but so what I do is I draw a line under uh, my brow and I end it where the shaved part is. Um, and I draw that line all the way to the front. Like so. <laughs> And then I start filling in the back of my brow. And I slowly, when the product starts running out on my brush, I bring it towards the front so it's lighter and more airy. And then I will draw where I want the top of my brow to be. So there's half of one brow. <laughs> I like to work, um, I like to do one brow, do the other one and then add the tails. Um, so I'm not messing up the tail part um, too early. But then I just do the same thing. So there's both my brows. I'll go back in and try to make them look more like each other um, after I do the tails. Okay, so then I flatten my brush more than it already is with product on, and then I'll just um, draw on the tail. I don't know how much to explain that. And I'll just draw another line from the top. No friends of mine around, yeah. Wait it out to a point, and then I'll kind of use my fingers um, <laughs> to sharpen it, and that is that brow. And then I'll do my best to duplicate that on the other side. Okay. Uh, pro tip for doing your makeup on any part that has um, that's kind of difficult for you do the side that you struggle with the most first um, so that you can match that side rather than trying um, to match the side that you have a hard time doing. Um, so you would wanna do that one first so that you're not trying to match something that's in your eyes perfect to something that you have a hard time in drawing. So that's what I do. I always will do this side first because it's harder to pull this way than to just drag down, so. Okay, so then I go back in with my spoolie brush and just kind of run it through just to make sure that it's smooth and I brush the hairs up in the front and there are my brows. Okay, so next I do my eyes. Um, I do my eyes before I do any of my face makeup because I find it's easier to control fallout um, rather than trying to fix it on top of makeup. So um, I'll go in um, to just put a base on my eyes with e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. This is completely a dupe for Tarte Shape Tape and I actually like it better and it's much less expensive. So I just go in and I put a little on my eye and I blend it out with a beauty blender. Just 
just to give me a very flat canvas um, and not have to work over the different colors from the veins and it also helps to lighten my lid so that the color and pigment will show up better. But I do that on both eyes. Okay, so I'm going to be using the ColourPop Star Wars Mandalorian palette um, because it has these gorgeous greens in it. So I'm gonna be going in with the shade Baby Face. That is the center one right here. And I'm going to be blending that into my lid. Um, I try to use small circular motions, um, but honestly, I'm just laying a color down that I'm going to be adding colors on top of. So, anyway, really works. Something I learned um, doing makeup is to not be shy to get close to your eyebrow. Um, when I first started, I would keep it so close to my crease um, because I don't know, I guess I was nervous um, and I see that a lot of people do that and they get nervous about really bringing the color up there and that bringing it up there really helps and makes the look stand out much more, especially for somebody who has um, hooded or deep set eyes, um, I found it helps a lot because you can't see my shadow <laughs> if it's not way up here by my eyebrow. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with Float Your Crib. That is this bottom middle color here. Um, it is a darker shade and I will take that into the corner of my eye and I will just blend it closer to my crease and I pull it out and I will just mirror it to the other side. Um, something that helps me with my makeup is to mirror. I do every step on both eye. I know some people will do one full eye and then the other. That is way too confusing for me. So I go in and I do each step for each eye so I can make sure that both sides match. <laughs> okay, so I'll take a little bit more baby face and I will go back in and blend the two together. Okay, so now I'm going to go in I'm using the Conspiracy palette and I'm going in with the shade Food Videos. Um, it is my favorite yellow tone shade. Um, for green looks, I will go in the top and yes, I am using a paintbrush. <laughs> I'll just go in the top um, and blend the colors. It kind of lightens up the look and makes it brighter. Um, these are very gray toned greens. I just go in with circular motions, pulling that yellow into the look. And I really think that this color brings all of my green eyeshadow looks together and makes them look a lot more polished and put together. I'll go back in with my brush that I've been using and blend them all together. Okay, so I used to use, when I used to use makeup wipes, I would then go in with a makeup wipe. Um, sometimes I will use a card um, under my eye to make sure that it stays um, sharp. But now, since I don't use makeup wipes, I use um, reusable cloths. I'll just take a tissue and I will cut the line up. Okay, so next I'm gonna go in with the shade Sipping Soup. It is this color right here, and I'm going to put that on the lid. If I apply glitters or shimmery shades to my lid, I like to go in with my finger. Um, I feel like I have the most control and I can pick up the most product. 
So I will just smooth that onto my lid, tap it on, and really try to build that product up um, so that it is as shimmery as it can be. I love green. I think green is so pretty, especially as eyeshadow. I love wearing green eyeshadow. It was like my daily last year. I would just always do green, green eyeshadow looks. Okay, so now we're gonna go in with Maybelline Master Precise All Day uh, Felt Tip Eyeliner. Um, and we are going to draw a wing. So when I cut the line, it helps to give me a guide of where to draw the wing at. So that is like my biggest makeup tip <laughs> is to do that so that you can make sure it's even. Okay, so when I go in to do my eyeliner, I start with the wing first. I will just follow the line that we created with the eyeshadow and bring it to the corner of my eye. And then from there, I will drag it to my lid. Now, I do a lot of tugging to my eyes. I don't recommend that. Um, you should never tug at your skin, but I do that. Um, I have a lot of trouble with this eye in particular because my skin does fold over the wing. Um, so I kind of need to pull it apart <laughs> so that I can get that smooth line that isn't going to be bumpy um, from it going over the skin. I'll just go back in and make edits where I see fit. Um, okay, so next I will take a makeup eraser and I will wipe away any fallout um, that I had during the eyeshadow process. All right, and next we're on to my face. Okay, so usually my face is not as red and having blemishes as it is today, um, but I will just go in very lightly um, with a color correcting stick. I just use one from e.l.f. Um, and I'm just gonna go in and just add a little bit to the most troubled spots, which seem to just be in these places. Okay. So then I just like to blend the edges and make sure that it's not gonna come up when I put concealer on. Okay, so next I'll go back in with my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer and I will put a few dots under my eyes and blend them out with a beauty blender. Okay, so then I will take some and put it on my chin and then any areas that I want to correct. Okay, and then I will go in up here. And then I will set everything with um, Maybelline Fit Me powder. Okay. So now I use um, this Funko Pop um, blush palette, the Cruella DeVille one. Um, it looks like this. And I use the bronzing shade called You Fools. 
um, very lightly. Um, I dab it on my arm to make sure there's not too much product and I will just warm up this area to try to lift my cheekbones. And then I'll take a little and run it along my hairline just to warm it up and some just around. Then I'll go in with a brush and I will blend it out to make sure there's no harsh lines um, and make sure it's not too aggressive. Okay, so then I take a small wet and wild brush. These are my favorite brushes. Um, they are very cheap. They're about a dollar. Um, and they are just my absolute favorite. I use them for eyeshadow and this time I'm going to be using it for um, contouring my nose. Now, this isn't really contouring. I am just taking a little bit to the sides um, just to kind of bring it in. Um, and then I will buff that out with a fluffy brush. Okay, so then I think I'm going to take my ColourPop Hello Kitty um, at Frost Sight blush. It is this cute little um, shimmery pink blush and I'm going to take that to the tops of my cheekbones on the side. And then to my nose and add a little bit there into my chin. Then I will buff it out with a fluffy brush to make sure there's no harsh edges and it's not too aggressive. Okay, so now I will go back in to my um, Mandalorian palette and I will take the same shades and bring them under my eyes. I'm using a Morphe um, brush but you can use any flat brush um, just to really get it close to the eye. And I will just bring the lightest shade all the way around. And I might even go in with the regular brush. And blend it a little further down in the corners. Okay, so take the same um, flat brush into the deeper color and drag that under the wing and bring it in. And blend it out with your fluffy brush. Okay, so after you've done that, um, take another flat brush. Um, I'm using this one. I got this forever ago in like when I was young in a brush roll. And I will take the Morphe, I believe it's the Live in Color Artistry palette. Um, the rainbow one and I will take the black shade it is my absolute favorite um, black shade that I own and I will take that and I mean I'll go in and I'll touch up my wings from getting eyeshadow on them and I will bring it under my eye Okay, so after I've done that, actually, okay, so after I've done that, I will go in and I will curl my lashes and apply mascara. Um, right now, I am using the Maybelline Pumped Up Colossal Volume Express Mascara. I honestly just grab whatever mascara and use whatever I grab. <laughs> so I'll just apply that off camera and I will then apply lashes. Okay, so I applied the mascara. I am not the best at applying lashes. I am using 
LA Colors 3D Faux Mink Lashes um, in this box. Um, and then I use Duo um, Duo Lash Adhesive. I'm using the Brush On Kind. Um, I have found that that one is super tacky um, while I have trouble with the other kind. And this one's so much easier. It's just, you brush it onto it. You don't have to use any other kind of product, but um, I'm not the best at applying these, so do not laugh at me. <laughs> Okay, now so that I have my lashes applied, they're not on the best, but honestly, it's fine. I will go in and I will get off any fallout from the mascara. And then I will go in with Anastasia Moonchild um, Highlighter Palette. Um, and the ColourPop Highlighter in Flexitarian. I will take um, Flexitarian on a small brush and brush it in a side motion and make a little oval on my nose and blend it out with my finger. Then take it and color in basically the bridge of my nose and take my finger to it to um, blend it out. Then I will take it under the arch of my brow. And I will take it on my cupid's bow. And then into my inner corner. Finna be down generations, not gonna be in vain. Too young. Why you gotta go? Why you gotta go? I just wanna know. Okay. Oh, I'll also take Flexitarian on a larger brush and brush it onto my cheekbones. So after I do that, I will then go in to the Moonchild highlighter palette and take the green shade Lucky Clover and brush that on top. Then I will take the um, Milani in shade 69 and I will take Aquaphor and I will apply that to the lip. And I will just dab the Milani lipstick onto my lip just to add a color, just to add some color to them. And then I will put on mascara on the bottom lashes. And we're done. And here's the final look. Um, it is just a simple green eyeshadow look. Um, just for any day, it's really quick, easy, and um, doesn't require a lot of foundation, um, so it feels really light. And that's it. So thank you guys so much for watching. It would mean the world to me if you would like and subscribe to my channel. I will be posting more makeup related stuff, maybe more ukulele related things, and maybe more fashion related stuff. So if you're interested in that, definitely check out my channel um, and all of my other social media. I am mweth on everything, Instagram and um, TikTok. So other than that, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye. <laughs>